Hi everyone, welcome to the Movie Seption Show. My name is Fariba, and earlier this morning, we've been getting a lot of trailers, um, but earlier this morning, or at least in the afternoon, we actually got a new trailer for Ahsoka. Um, I'm super excited to see this series because again, I think Rose, uh, Rosario Dawson is just spectacular as the titular character. I mean, I remember first seeing her in Mandalorian. She looked absolutely amazing. I've actually had a chance to go see her early in the year when she had came from Megacon. And now, like, here it is. We're getting closer and closer to Ahsoka. I think we're just about a month away, a month and a half away from Ahsoka, right? So, yeah, I mean, we got the first footage about it, like, a couple months ago. Definitely seemed very promising. I mean, we got a hint of Admiral Thawne. We know so much about what's going to be happening right there. I still have yet to finish up with Rebels and a Clone Wars, but I hope to get those done ASAP. But, yeah, no, I'm super excited to see this whole series, and we now got a new trailer hopefully i mean it's gonna be a far longer one so hopefully we'll see more of admiral thawne in this whole trailer as well as other snippets of where this story is going to go but yeah without further ado, without further ado let's get right down into the new trailer for ahsoka war is inevitable one must destroy in order to create Ooh, seems pretty grim we are no jedi Oh. I started hearing whispers. Whispers. Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. What happens when we find Thrawn? Power. Such as you've never dreamed. Dang, that, that footage still I've never gets old. I've my life fighting a war. That's why I'm trying to convince you to help me prevent another one. Mothma. You and I both know who could help you with this. She's still just as stubborn as ever. I bet your master found you difficult at times. Anakin never got <gasps> to finish my training. I walked away from him. Just like I walked away from Sabine. You never made things easy for me. That Anakin reference. Master. Master. Interesting. Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. But I'm counting on you to see this through. Nice haircut. Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. Buckle up. Oh, whoa. If we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be in vain. <laughs> okay. Interesting. You have no power. Anakin spoke highly of you. More Anakin reference. I'm not here to discuss my past. We have a lot of work to do. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Oh, two episodes. Wow. Okay. So that was a trailer for Ahsoka. And I mean, I, I cannot wait to see the show. Like, I, even though I have not finished Clone Wars and um, Rebels, like, I, I cannot wait to see it, right? I mean, first off, let's just talk about the fact that this whole trailer screams Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> um, like, there's just nonstop references of Anakin Skywalker, which makes sense, right? I mean, there's ahsoka has that deep connection with him like even though i've not finished clone wars i am very aware of this whole situation that happened with her how she had to cut her training short with anakin and that definitely played a big role afterwards and how that you know deeply affected her so i feel like that's probably why they're mentioning so much of anakin here and not just that but also parallel you know paralleling that dynamic that she has with sabin so that's gonna be very interesting to see i mean the fact that they are continuously referencing <laughs> Anakin Skywalker is a big thing, of course. Like, I know there is that rumor of Hayden Christensen reprising his role as, you know, Anakin Skywalker. Um, and, but considering that, again, this is taking place, like, years after Return of the Jedi because this is after the Mandalorian, right? So... And again, it's already all uh, dead at this point. So I'm going to assume that maybe we're either going to see a flashback scene or a possible Force Ghost Anakin Skywalker if there is a possibility that, you know, Hayden Christensen does come back as Anakin Skywalker. But 
but yeah overall this is a very great trailer i mean again you definitely get the grim you know ten like you know the tension of everything that's going on with everything that's going around in the galaxy we are seeing these like you know force sensitive sith like looking um individuals in this trailer i don't think they're inquisitors i don't believe they are or maybe they are inquisitors i, I believe it, it could be either one but like yeah i mean you can definitely get the sense of how you know powerful they are how threatening they are um again just the, the amount of power they're able to possess and wielding their you know lightsabers that's just incredible so i cannot wait to see the action in this trailer i mean not trailer action of the show um and again the trailer itself really shows how promising the actual footage looks like for those sequences so i cannot wait to see those um definitely like the dynamic that we're seeing with ahsoka and some of the characters of course seven being being the big part of it all um again having just mentioned about anakin skywalker let's quickly talk about emerald thawne because that's like the big part of this trailer we finally get to see the first Look, the first footage of who Admiral Thrawn looks like. We all know that Lars Mikkelsen is going to be playing Admiral Thrawn. So he's actually reprising his voice role from Rebels onto the live action stream, which a lot of us had wanted. So we definitely got that wish coming true after the first one had dropped, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of the first footage of, you know, of Admiral Thrawn, I'm definitely a bit mixed about it. Um, just for, I mean, for one thing, I, I have no doubt that Lars Mikkelsen is going to do such a great job playing Admiral Thrawn because at least with him, he definitely has a whole resume of playing some very incredible antagonists in both the movie and TV shows. So that's something that I have no concern about whatsoever. Um, my concern is mostly about the visuals. Like, I mean, it's kind of okay. Um, definitely feel like it was an incomplete visual of Admiral Thawne. Like, I don't know, that's just how I felt. Um, maybe that's just me. Maybe, again, I think perhaps they are still kind of finishing off the kinks of his visuals with the visual effects and all that sort of stuff. So that's probably the whole case with this one as well. Like, hopefully it'll kind of be fixed by the time the show comes out. But I think that's definitely kind of the one thing that I feel a bit uh, off-put about because, like, Lars looks great. I just feel like maybe the blending of the character, like the actual visual, the facial visual of it needs to be worked out or at least needs to be a bit more complete. So that was just the only thing I have like any criticism about it. Like, I mean, again, I'm excited to see Admiral Thawne whatsoever. And I mean, again, I'm hoping that he's going to become a big player. Like, I mean, there are a lot of rumors that he's going to be the big bad for, you know, the Mandalorian or at least setting up the last few, you know, content of the Mandalorian story. So we'll see how that all works out. Like that was something that, again, that they had talked about, I believe back in celebration or something like that, where, you know, there's going to be that Mandalorian movie. And so, and a lot of that is because it's going to have, you know, the Soka series, the Mandalorian series, the Boba Fett series, all these kind of, you know, coming together, merging to at least set up this Mandalorian movie. So, that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking is going to happen, of course, with Admiral Thrawn. He's going to kind of rise up to the occasion. So that's something that I'm anticipating as well going to the series. But yeah, I really love the dynamic. I really love how we're seeing this whole adventure with Ahsoka, how she is trying to kind of deal with the dynamic here and there, trying to, you know, understand her purpose, trying to find Admiral Thrawn, because that is her big, big, you know, mission at this point is to find him knowing that he is a threat out there and it seems as if they are going to be setting him up as the big bad going into not just the series but also kind of being a bigger part or actually having a far more bigger scope in terms of what we're seeing in the Mandalorian side of the timeline so yeah I mean again I cannot wait to see Ahsoka we're about what a month and a half away from seeing Ahsoka. We're getting two episodes, of course, so that's a big thing as well. So I am super excited to see Ahsoka as well. Hopefully by then I'll be caught up with Rebels and Clone Wars. But yeah, that's all to say about the, you know, the new trailer for Ahsoka. Let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think of, what are your impressions with this new trailer that we just got? What do you think about the number of Anakin references? Like, what do you think? How does this imply in terms of the rumors that we've been hearing about, you know, a possible Hayden Christensen appearance in this whole series? And if there is going to be, how will they actually play that out knowing that, you know, he's technically dead, you know, at this point in the timeline? Um, what are your thoughts about Admiral Thrawn? Because that's definitely the one thing that I, I, I'm kind of a bit mixed about. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you think this is actually far uh, more of what you expected him to look like? Or maybe you agree with me that maybe, you know, they have to fix some you know, visuals of it a little bit here and there. 
And let me know about any other thoughts you have about this trailer, especially in terms of the dynamics, um, the mission, the stakes of it all. Let me know in the comments down below and make sure to like and subscribe.